Hi everyone, this is Sunny Kumar from IIT BHU and welcome to my channel Code with Sunny. And today I am going to discuss the problem binary trees with factors. Index number is 823 and the problem is of medium type of lead code. So let's jump directly into the problem statement. We have been given an array of unique integers A, R, R, and where each integer array of is strictly greater than 1. Okay, And we have to make a binary tree using these integers and each number may be used for any number of times that is the repetition of the number is allowed and each non leaf node should be equal to the product of the values of its children okay and we have to return the number of binary trees that we can form the answer may be too large so we have to return the answer modulo this okay so how we are going to do this problem so let's understand this with the help of the example so suppose here we have three uh, integers of the array given so basically we are first sorting the array then we are going to perform the operations so why we are sorting the array so I am going to tell you that also so first let's understand what is happening here okay so suppose uh, if we consider the only the single element that is 2 then what is what are the binary trees that we can form that is only one leaf node you can see okay and what if we consider the two nodes that is 2 and 4 then what are the binary trees that we can form uh, we can form the binary tree of only one node and uh, we can also form a binary tree like this also note that repetition of the number is allowed so I am going to form this type of binary tree also so again I am going to form a binary tree with 8 so 8 binary tree can be formed like this if we consider the factors of the 8 like 8 can be represented as 2 into 4 and further 8 can also be represented as 4 into 2 and 8 can also be represented as uh, we can say 1 into 8 and 8 can also be represented as 8 into 1 now one thing we can notice that and uh, so so what I am going to do here is I am going to consider uh, uh, consider a DP state that is dynamic programming state that is where DP of i is going to denote the total number of ways uh, total number of sorry total number of binary trees that we can form with the help of what with the help of this current integer so how we can uh, formulate this value efficiently we are going to uh, formulate this value efficiently by pre-calculating the previous integers that is pre-calculating the uh, values that occurred uh, just before this number so uh, I am going to explain it with the help of example like here so I am going to write something okay so let me erase this first okay 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 so now uh, any number n can be represented as the product of two numbers that is a into b it is obvious a is a divisor of n and b is also a divisor of n now we can to find out the total number of binary trees possible with n uh, it can be easily find it can be easily calculated as total number of binary trees formed with a into total number of binary trees formed with b and if we product these two values we can get the total number of binary trees formed with n okay so so for calculating the total number of binary trees formed with a and also for calculating the total number of binary trees formed with b we need to uh, pre-calculate the total number of binary trees formed with a like uh, a is also formed with the help of product of two integers let's say a1 and into b1 or you can say a2 so it doesn't matter i'm going to write here a2 similarly b1 uh, b can uh, also be formed with the help of two integers that is b1 into b2 and we need to consider all the divisors that is if a is a divisor of n then b must be equal to n by a similarly we are going to compute all the factors of n and similarly we are going to find the two pairs that is going to satisfy the relation n equals a into b and to calculate the total number of pairs for uh, for the node with value n 
we need to pre-calculate for all the values that lie uh, that uh, that are strictly great, uh, strictly less than n. So we are going to efficiently calculate with the help of dynamic programming. So let's move on to uh, to the code to analyze the uh, approach of this uh, dynamic programming state. So let's move further. Okay. So I'm going to do this stuff. Okay. Okay. So uh, our answer can be very long. So I'm going to define something. Define. Let's define mod as ten power nine plus seven. And we are. I'm going to also define one thing also. Define ll as long long. Okay. So our answer. Let's define. Uh, Initialize with zero, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm going to maintain an unordered set. You can also take a ordered set or sorry, you can also take a simply set. Okay, I'm going to maintain an unordered set of LL comma LL. That would be a mapping. Okay. Okay, sorry, unordered map. Okay, so now uh, proceeding further, I'm going to take. Uh, uh, okay, let's sort the array first. I need to sort the array because suppose I am going to calculate the let's say I am going to pick up the uh, ith number. So I need to know the uh, total number of uh, binary trees formed and that is the uh, total number of binary trees formed with all the numbers less than equal to uh, ai. So I need to sort the array first and then uh, perform the operation sequentially starting from left to right. Okay, so let's iterate in the array. Mm, okay, array dot size and simply array plus plus. So what is the current answer? I think I should write it as current answer should be one. Why current answer should be one for leaf node? Okay, our answer will always be one. So let's calculate the factors. So it would be like uh, let us iterate for i equals sorry j equals 0 j less than i and j plus plus and if array of i is modulus array of j if if it is giving some value then continue because this is not a factor then otherwise i am going to uh, let's pick our first number that is nothing but array of j and what would be the second number it would be simply array of uh, i divided by array of j and uh, what would be our current answer so our current answer would be simply okay current answer would be simply current answer plus uh, total number of binary trees formed with num1 into total number of binary trees formed with uh, num2 and I need to take modulus along with so that it doesn't overflow the required limit of the int max note that this is the dp relation that is our current answer would be nothing but the one of the factors of array of i and uh, another would be nothing but array of i divided by that factor so I need to add up all the answers so so what I am going to do, I am going to fill that dp state also. So let's write uh, mp of uh, array of i is nothing but current answer. And uh, I am going to increment my answer as answer plus current answer modulus. Okay, with summation with modulus. So I think that's good enough. So let's return the integer value of answer. Okay. So let's run this code. I think I think I should have submitted the code directly. Yes, it is giving the correct answer. So let's check it out. Yes, it is good. So if you have any doubts, do not forget to mention in the comment section of the video. And I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video and do subscribe to my YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video.